they may encounter the portion of very school movements. With no further delay, I would like to present you our teams. To my right, we have our representative from Mr. Nashwan. Please come in. And to my left, we have a team from Mr. Nashwan, who are against very new school uniforms. Please also come in. Next, I would like to introduce our judges. Teacher Tai, Teacher Red, and Teacher Sabrina. Thank you for your warm welcome. Let us now begin our debate. Would a member of the sixth national, Alisa Lupi, or Alisa begin, please? You have one minute. Good luck. Our group is for wearing school uniforms because, firstly, uniforms improve attendance and discipline. The uh, University of Houston found that the absent rate for students reduced after the introduction of uniforms. Secondly, uniforms reduce peer pressure and bullying. When everyone is alike, there is less competition between students of affiliate. Thirdly, uniforms help students from being distracted. We should focus more on studying rather than work to work. Lastly, uniforms save money. Uniforms are not that expensive and we can spend less on other things. Thank you. Thank you, Alisa. Now it's time for P6 last two. Talk on changing the world today to present. Again, you will have one minute. Good luck. Comes of school uniforms. A school uniform is a standard set of clothing for people. You should be children wear when they go to school. It might have a particular color of trousers or skirt, plus a matching shirt and perhaps a jacket or necktie, with matching shoes according to Wikipedia. In some countries, like Finland and Germany, students can wear anything they like to school. In other countries, like England, there is usually a standard dress code in school, usually a set dressing for girls and one for boys. In Thailand, Many schools require students to wear school uniforms to school. Wearing school uniforms gives students identity. It shows which school they belong to. However, wearing school uniforms has its disadvantages too. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Next up is Nora Momati Tobin Sahar Sigma. The first piece is a short reporter. You can start now. I'm for school uniform and I think school uniform is best for all of the students because it helps prevent bullying. Lots of students prefer to wear fashion clothes or brand new clothing. Those who don't have enough money to afford are ostracized and made fun. School uniforms put everyone the same and prevent this type of bullying from happening. And another reason is helps prevent gang activities. Every year, there are many crimes involving drugs and violence that happen in a lot of school because of gangs. Somebody might not understand how this problem is related to school uniforms, but school uniform will help the school to recognize between student and non student. Thank you. Very interesting. Thank you, Sonia. Now, let's listen to Marika Jurassic Kuti for her I agree with Sydney. However, students won't have freedom to express their lifestyle. Wearing school uniform takes away students' freedom to express themselves. Clothing is a big matter to teenagers. They express their personal style through their clothing and accessories they wear. People are different, and deities are different. Making everyone wear the same clothes may make some students uncomfortable and unhappy because some clothes are not suitable for their body type, or some may dislike wearing skirt. Anything you wear doesn't tell you that you are good or bad or smart or stupid. The point is, everything you wear doesn't wrong. 
you can get knowledge without the uniform. Therefore, Wayne's uniform is a bad idea. Thank you. Thank you, Bibi. Now it's your turn, Pima Daki Mohan Sukwar Cookie. Good luck. Because some students they are poor and some are rich, the school may not stop comparing the position between rich and poor. If you're shy, coming back home and cry because everyone is teasing them about wearing unfashionable clothes. I know that we are rich and they would think like that, but to change your mind that we are poor, we will understand it more. The school may not stop the students equal. When the precocious shy speak to class, people would know what school they come from and will call the school to get them back to learn. Precocious shy by curiosity goes to your uniforms. The school uniforms make them look more polite and better. Thank you. Thank you, Fuki. Now, let's see what our fan, Nina, the second PCS last two rebuttal, has to say about it. as extra cost to the parents. Thailand has free education for every child, however, parents have to pay extra to buy school uniforms. Also, some schools have extra uniforms for the physical education and the slot day. All these uniforms have to be stitched with the student's name and the student's ID number. For some students, they have to change every term if they get better. They may have to change Therefore, school uniforms can be expensive to poor families. Thank you. I think we have something here. Let's go to Gada, the last basic slash one we got to for her thoughts. Nina's point is weak. We also know that kids love to break rules and it's hard to make them obey. Almost daily at schools, it is a common norm to spend some time making the students obey the certain rules and get them disciplined. Good portion of this valuable time can be saved if we have a strict uniform policy at school. People in charge will not have to worry about checking each every student of what he or she is wearing. Some people would get jealous, so their parents have to spend more money to get the same clothes. They get spotted if something bad happens to them. You don't have to waste picking up clothes every morning. You'll have to wake up extra early to pick up your clothes. Thank you. All right. Next in line is Darika Ditsorbi or Wiki. Good luck to you. I disagree with that idea. Therefore, wearing school uniforms show us which school we are from. School uniforms doesn't make everyone the same. They just make everyone look the same. If school uniforms, if school had uniforms with a, another school, students will fight each other just because they were they were from a rival school wearing different uniforms. For example, on the 16th of October 2014, students from Patumban College and Utintawa College engaged in a public fight. Many students were injured. One of the situation is to order students not to wear school uniforms to school. In my opinion, wearing school uniforms can be dangerous to the students sometimes. Thank you. Thank you, Wiki. We will now conclude for the six national team. Thank you. As my team member has support, school uniforms are good because it's making everyone equal. All the students don't need to care what they wear. Help students from being distracted, improve attendance. And for parents, they don't need to buy more school uniform for their children because if they buy school uniform for their children if they have got a chair 
they don't need to buy more, they can reduce peer pressure. So it's good for all to wear skin for life. Thank you, Anne. Last but not least, this famous the pasta for him to serve up for her team. As my teammates have mentioned, we support our decision that wearing school uniforms may not be always good. If school lets students have the freedom to choose what they want to wear to school, as long as they follow the school dress codes, the students will be happy to come to school to learn new things. Finland is one of the top 10 education systems in the world when the students can wear anything to school. I would like to leave a quote from Mr. George Carlin. Schools have done enough damage making students think alike. Now, they have to make them wear alike. Thank you. Thank you all team for your thoughts and participation in today's event. Now is the moment of the truth. Let's listen to the judges' comments and opinions.